Okay, we've got a circuit up here, 12 volt battery, three resistors, 10 ohms, 10 ohms, and 20 ohms. And we want to answer every question we can about this, which means uh, how much resistance total do we have, how much current is flowing through the circuit, and then what is a voltage drop for each of those three resistors. First question, what do we know about the total resistance in this circuit? in the series circuit. Yep, Justin? 40 ohms. 40 ohms, how do you know? Right. Total resistance is going to equal the sum of all those resistors. So 10 ohms plus 10 ohms plus 20 ohms. So the total resistance is 40 ohms. When the battery looks out and senses the rest of the circuit, that's what it senses, 40 ohms. It doesn't know what combination any resistors could be out there. It's not that smart. All it knows is whatever is out there looks like 40 ohms to me. Ohm's law then uh, governs how that's all going to behave, how the battery will behave because of that 40 ohms, how much current it will put out. And then when we look at the individual pieces, it will decide what, how much voltage is on each part. How much current flows through the circuit? Our rule over here for current says that current is the same everywhere in the circuit because any electron leaving the negative side of the battery has to go through every single component. So it doesn't matter where we even measure it. All the battery does is it senses, okay, I've got 12 volts of voltage. I'm looking at 40 ohms. How can we use that to figure out how much current flows through the circuit. Yep, Lauren? Uh, Ohm's equation. Okay, Ohm's law right here, V equals I R. Good. What do we do with it? Plug the numbers in. Plug the numbers in. Which, which numbers do we know then? We know the voltage. Okay, yep, 12 volts. And the resistance. And the resistance, and we want to find the I. So our resistance here is the total, because we're looking at the whole circuit here. Okay, what do we do with this to solve for the current then? Right, got to get rid of the 40 from the I, so we'll divide 40 ohms on each side. Okay, 40 ohms cancels on that side, leaving us just I equals 12 volts over 40 ohms. 0.33 probably, right? No, or is it just, 0. no, it is just 0. 0.3. Yeah. 0. 0.3 amps. Amps, you got it. We don't really use crossing out units on this one, we can't do that. That means that that 0. 0.3 amps goes throughout this circuit, every component in the circuit has 0.3 amps going through it. So far, so good. Last question, which is actually a three-parter. What is the voltage drop across each resistor in the circuit? So usually you'll notice that I labeled this R1, R2, R3. That's very common. Um, we also put the values next to each resistor value of the uh, voltage next to the battery. And as we're solving this then, up here we were looking at the totals, the circuit as a whole. But now we're looking at individual uh, components. So I would label them V1, V2, V3. And we have to be careful when we use Ohm's law to always use just values that we know for that component. So if we're looking for the voltage on our first resistor, it'd be the current through the first resistor times its resistance. So how much current's going through that? 0 0.3 amps. Even though we figured this out for the whole circuit, we know that it applies to every single thing in the circuit, so we'll use it each time. The voltage then is, or the resistance is 10 ohms. We can 
probably do that one in our head. What's the unit? Volts. Voltage is volts. Second resistor, V2. It would be the current going through resistor 2 and times its resistance. But again, same current everywhere, 0 0.3 amps times 10 ohms for its resistance gives us another 3 volts. V3 is current through a 3 times its resistance, 0 0.3 amps, this time times 20 ohms. gives us 6 volts. So we have two things in our rules on this. Notice first off that the higher the resistance, 10 ohms, 20 ohms, the greater the voltage drop. That's how much energy is being lost by electrons. But what else do we know about the voltages here? They equal 12. 3 plus 3 plus 6, 12 volts. That's the same as our battery that was the source, and it has to be. Those electrons will lose all 12 volts going through the circuit. 